Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome to the Nine Miles Gadget Review Channel. Today is gonna to be a fun one, fun review. It's the twirling spaghetti fork. It says eating pasta has never been more fun. And this is an automatic twirl for your pasta. So maybe you have had a spaghetti dinner and you know, just twirling the fork is just too much work. Let me just twirl a fork here. You know, like spinning the fork. Maybe that's just, you thought that's just too much work. Well, there's a product for you and I'm bringing it to you. It's the twirling spaghetti fork, twist up spaghetti, battery operated, dishwasher safe, which is pretty surprising, fun and easy to use. And yeah, if you haven't already, please support my content. If you like reviews like this, you know, maybe I've saved you money in the past. Maybe you've seen a review and you're planning on buying something and you saw my review and you decided not to get it. Basically, I saved you money. So maybe consider, consider returning the favor. Go to patreon.com slash nymals. That's patreon.com slash nymals. It's in the description. And if you're watching this on Facebook, you know, if I've saved you some money with my reviews, go check out the Facebook subscriptions and you'll get the same content on Facebook subscriptions. It's stuff you won't see anywhere else. Exclusive reviews, things like that. Exclusive content. It says twirling is a better way to eat spaghetti. The motorized metal pronged and automatically winds a pasta at the end of the fork. Now there's less mess, more satisfying, 100% twirling fun. All right, so let's open it up, see what's inside here. Man, when I saw this, I was like, I need to buy this. This is right up my alley. This is exactly the kind of content I wanna have posted on my channel. All right, so check this out. And the, it looks cheap, you know, it looks cheap from the packaging and from the feel, it feels cheap. So. Um, this is just kind of, you know, I call it Happy Meal Plastic. It's kind of a term that I've coined in my videos, Happy Meal Plastic, just that really cheap feeling plastic. Um, on off switch, you know, barely, <laughs> it barely is a switch. Doesn't feel that secure. And you know it's cheap when there's a screw for the battery compartment. So you have to unscrew that. I'm gonna do that right now. Put some batteries in here and also get some pasta going as well. So here we go. Luckily, the fork is metal. They didn't skimp on that, it's not plastic. It's very thin. For those of you that wanna know what it looks like, that's what it looks like, the battery compartment once it's off. And let me get some, some nice batteries. Let's see if we can find the Amazon ones. Yeah, here we go. So yeah, these are two nice Amazon batteries, some fresh Amazon. And let's see here, one, Hopefully it doesn't start spinning. There we go, I'm gonna test it out. Okay, there we go. So that's good to know. I, it, it didn't spin like really fast. I was expecting it to maybe spin really fast and the spaghetti would, you know, fly off the fork, but no. So yeah, check that out. I can easily, easily stop it. Did I break it already? All right, so yeah, I think it broke already. Uh, just that little, you know, I would just stop the, it from spinning. Just that little uh, hit completely destroyed the fork. But rest assured, if that was spaghetti, it would have done the exact same thing and it would have broke on the spaghetti. So, terrible product. But why don't we make pasta just because? just because I was already starting to boil the water. Yeah, just uh, some information. This fork thing comes off. And so what it does is this handle is not dishwasher safe, but this little fork has a little prong and it goes in right here. So if it did work, you'd put it in here like so, turn it on and it would spin. All right, so here we go. I have the plate of pasta right here, it's all done. And I'm gonna test out the twirling spaghetti fork. So here we go, and just pretend like it's actually spinning. Still broken, but here we go. Let's see if it works as a fork at least. So if it breaks out, yeah. Yeah, there we go, kind of spin it. Check it out. Holds the spaghetti well. The fork is kind of designed to hold spaghetti in place. So it's actually a good fork. You just kind of want to twirl it if you do get one that breaks out of the box.
All right, so let's see how it compares to just a regular fork here. So yeah, here we go. Three, two, one. Is there any difference? So yeah, with a regular fork, it kind of wants to slide off. Um, the twirling spaghetti fork kind of makes it stay in place. So it's an expensive fork, but as a fork, it works. So yeah, obviously being broken out of the box, I cannot recommend it. So I don't recommend it. If you want to try it out, if you can get it under 10 bucks, go for it. I just don't think you're going to be too happy with it because it looks cheap. It feels cheap. The only thing that's actually kind of quality is the fork. Uh, but other than that, it's, yeah, it's a totally gimmick item. Could be good as a joke gift. Um, but yeah, for those reasons, I can't recommend it. But yeah, just for fun, I'm gonna see if I can break this open and see what's inside. So here we go. Three, two, one. Hard plastic. Well, it doesn't break very easily. <laughs> All right, so I'm not, I'm not gonna break it open. I thought it'd be easy, but this is actually a really tough plastic to get open, so maybe it's not as cheap as I thought it was. Yeah, here, I'll take it outside and see if I can get it. So yeah, check it out. That's what it looks like inside. I took it out of the hard concrete and I was able to do that. So you have your wires off the batteries. It runs this little motor. And then you have all sorts, this spins around and runs all these little gears. And I think what happened is probably one of the gears, um, you know, and that's what connects to the fork right here. I think it goes like that. But yeah, you can see all these little gears. And so they all have to line up perfectly in order for it to work. So I think what happened is probably one of these gears got moved out of place or something like that. But luckily, they do have a customer service number. So if you're having the same issues, let me just get it for you. Call 503-231-6465. That's 503-231-6465. And the company is Hog Wild. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think of this product. Is it worth it? Let me know. Thanks for watching.